What's up, Amanda? It's Monday, and your last video was was very interesting. You'll notice it has more dislikes than we usually get, and that's because the people that you were talking about in that video found the video. I think that's really funny, and frankly, I don't really care. I only care about the people that, like, really enjoy our stuff and watch every time and everyone that comments, so I know you guys, I know who you are, and I love you guys. If you happen to be the people that disliked the last video, not a fan of you, and uh, you, you don't need to stay here on this channel uh, unless it makes you feel better to dislike, in which case, do it, because it actually makes our videos boost up in the YouTube ratings. Whether you like it or not, dislikes and likes both our reactions to the video, and by liking or disliking, you're promoting our video. So I thank you, but you don't need to stay here. Like, don't feel like I really want you here. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I wanted to talk about something that you talked about in your last video, Amanda, which is politics and, and the fact that we can't really talk about that. And I've actually figured out ways that I can manage to talk about that topic, so I figured I should share my knowledge with you guys. But in order to do that, you need to think about politics in a different way than you think about any other conversational topic, pretty much. As you can probably tell from the title, I like to think about politics like I do sex. That just means I think about them in the same way, not that I enjoy thinking about we're just going to move on. But what do I mean by that? How, how am I supposed to say that politics is like sex? Well, you have to have consent in both situations. That's literally the most important thing. You need consent, and the conversation or act cannot happen without consent. Both parties, no pun intended, need to say that they're willing and able to talk about this topic. I can't just go up to you and be like, yo, you're wrong, I'm right, let's talk about that. And then when you refuse to talk about it, I get mad at you for running away. That's not how it works. It works when you go up to someone and you say, hey, I just wanted to talk about your beliefs and understand why you believe what you do. I want to get a, a new perspective so that I can open my mind up to what you're thinking. And then if they want to talk about it, then you do so in a nice, respectful manner. And if they don't want to talk about it, because some people don't like talking about that, then you don't talk about that! Not everyone wants to share their political views, or their religious views, or what they had for breakfast today, and you can't force that information out of anyone. And by saying that they're scared to do so, or that they are just afraid that they're wrong if they don't want to share their beliefs, is, is an assertion that you are just an idiot, or someone that's really, 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 really bad at debate? That, that could be it too. Okay, so you've approached the person, you've, you've stated how you feel, and that you want to learn how they feel, and you're in a conversation about politics. Now, what do you do? The key here is to not get mad about what they're about to say, even if you don't agree with it, like, like at all. Like for me, there are a few topics that I know piss me off when someone else says that they're against them. Like vaccines. When someone believes that vaccines cause autism or aren't good for society, that pisses me off like crazy. But if the person I'm talking to in a peaceful, calm, respectable political conversation with me it believes that, I can't get mad at them in that situation. I'm the one that opened myself up to their beliefs. I'm not allowed to get mad at them for having those beliefs because I already told them I wouldn't. You can politely debate and state your case, but you can't go into it with the idea that they're going to change their mind. That's the other rule, is that when you talk politics, it's not always a debate. You're usually not going to change the other person's mind, especially with only one conversation. Changing someone's political views takes years and, and so many different experiences, and, and you can't do that in five-minute conversations. So you can't go into these situations thinking that you're gonna change someone's mind because it's just not gonna happen. When you talk politics, you're doing it for an understanding and so that you can both reach a middle ground, not so that they can come to your side. You have to give a little too. You have to say, okay, well, I believe this, but I can see why that's wrong. If you follow these steps and remain calm, you can have really, really thoughtful and, and insightful political conversations that open your mind up to what the rest of the world believes. It's so easy to be trapped in this political bubble that you only see the beliefs that you want to, and I do that so many times. So it's really important for me to find my conservative friends and talk to them about their beliefs and why they believe what they do. And that way I can reach a middle ground where both parties are happy or at least neither parties are too unhappy. It takes a lot of practice, especially the fact that you don't get mad at yell at the other person that they're an idiot. But it can happen. But it all starts with the most important thing, consent. If they don't want to have the conversation, don't have the conversation. Amanda, I hope this has helped you and the many others that want to have these talks, and I'll see you on Thursday. And 
screen, did you notice my shirt? It's that, it's that band that I talked about last week that, that you should definitely check them out. And speaking of checking them out, I did check out a bunch of your music recommendations that you guys left in the comments last week. So thank you so much for those. I liked a lot of them and definitely opening my, my mind up for more musical um, beliefs. It's kind of like politics, except it's not as argumentative and it's more objective. Another band I just forgot to mention in my last video is called A Wolf in the City. Definitely check them out. They're so great. It's in the comments of my last video. I'll leave them in the comments here.